Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen, Joby Aviation bolsters USAF relationship. Go Drone 2.0 gets new look. And AirText unveils spoof proofing. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Joby Aviation bolsters Air Force relationship. Joby Aviation committed to delivering an additional two EVTEL aircraft to MacDill Air Force Base under the branch's continued testing of novel tech. The delivery is set to take place next year under the AFWorks Agility Prime contract. Joby originally delivered the first of its eVTOLs to Edwards AFB in 2023, and there's one more on tap for delivery there. Under the original Agility Prime contract, Joby can provide up to nine aircraft, leaving five slots for future expansion. Edwards has been home to Joby's greatest military attentions, working with the 412th Test Wing on testing and experimentation. The newest order will see the next Joby eVTOLs delivered to MacDill AFB, home to U.S. Special Operations Command, CENTCOM, and a handful of units from the Air Mobility Command. That's a pretty solid audience to impress for the mark. On one hand, the secret squirrel units are plush with funding, with the flexibility to procure what they want without much red tape. It's worth recalling that SOCOM brought back the OV-10 Bronco for a short spell, dabbling in CAS platforms from the Vietnam era with nary a complaint from anyone. After the break, Altitude Angel gains another customer in Leeds Bradford Airport. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Altitude Angel gains another customer in Leeds Bradford Airport. Altitude Angel is set to deploy at the UK's Leeds Bradford International Airport, allowing local controllers to oversee UAV and EVTEL ops. The Altitude Angel Approval Services platform helps drone operators to streamline and plan out their flights with minimal fuss simply plugging in their course and filing them before takeoff to give controllers a good idea of the traffic path to come. Outgoing Aviation Minister Baroness Vare said the suite would be, quote, a key step to the UK achieving its ambitious outcomes we are setting through the Future of Flight Industry Group, end quote. Aeromech issued Starlink STC for King Air 200 and 300s. Aeromech announced its STC for the installation of Starlink Internet in the Beechcraft King Air 200 and 300. That's great news for Internet-hungry King Air operators, since the Aeromech FAA STC ODA covers 17 variants of the aircraft, from the original King Air 200 to the newfangled King Air 360. Aeromech subsidiary AMI Aviation Services is now conducting Starlink antenna installations for end users out of its facilities back east, or from a handful of remote teams. AMI can provide the STC and PMA installation kits to any qualified Starlink installer or dealer. 
TrueBlue Power shows off TB50 main battery. TrueBlue Power unveiled its newest member of the product family, the Gen 5 TB50 lithium-ion aircraft battery. It's a main ship battery that fits a 50 amp hour engine start battery into the dimensions of a standard lead acid 44 amp hour piece. The TB50 gives owners and operators all the usual benefits of joining the modern era with a lithium ion battery. Less weight, more power, and darn near zero maintenance. The TB50 weighs half as much and delivers twice as many amp hours pound for pound over the old school kit. AMA clarifies remote ID authorizations for some clubs. AMA and the FAA recently finalized procedures to expand remote ID authorization exemptions to include clubs on or near sensitive locations in uncontrolled airspace. Previously, only AMA clubs in controlled airspace with letters of agreement with air traffic control were eligible for this type of authorization. However, the FAA will now begin granting remote ID authorizations that exempt AMA club sites in Class G airspace from remote ID for a period of four years. This authorization will essentially provide the same type of remote ID relief as a FRIA. Well, that was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. GoDrone 2.0 gets new look. Netherlands ANSP LVNL and Altitude Angel broke news of a revamped iteration of GoDrone's flight planning app. GoDrone has managed to secure a strong foothold in the domestic Dutch market since its launch in the spring of 2020. The company's UTM software has continued to build speed at a number of British airfields, too. The new version 2 of GoDrone isn't out of the oven just yet. From the sounds of it, plans say that it's going to be rolling out in the second quarter for both iOS and Android platforms. GoDrone gets more than just a reskin, getting a comprehensive update with new features, workflows, and more. From the sound of it, GoDrone had plenty to learn as it watched users put it through its paces, so it now integrates stronger integrated flight planning, plan drawing tools, and streamlined approval flows even for more complex routing. Pilots having to request access to transit and airport CTR will find things much slicker than they were before, with satellite map layers and ground hazards shown off in greater detail than ever before. Those new to the app should find it much easier and more intuitive. After these messages, AirText unveils spoof proofing. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. AirText unveils spoof proofing. Send Solutions brought out their spoof proof AirText Plus product line, capping off, quote, extensive research and development efforts, end quote, with an independently created secure GPS receiver. The threat of GPS spoofing hasn't yet caught on too deeply in the industry, but it's one of the more troubling new tech concerns for those aware of how fast state of the art can move. A successful spoof returns inaccurate position information to an aircraft in flight, making the GPS installed aboard the aircraft hallucinate a totally incorrect position for itself. Needless to say, it represents an insane level of threat to complacent air crews, particularly for those who have come up in an industry blessed with ironclad GPS signal integrity. 
Generally, only an aircraft with a very sharp paper map pilot or an active inertial navigation unit could be fairly safe from being scrambled in the air. But Sun Solution says the newest version of AirTex Plus offers a comprehensive solution. When affected by suspected spoofing signals, the AirTex Plus provides immediate crew notification, automatic ground reporting, and a flight deck map of non-spoofed location aids. A constant monitor of GPS position integrity uses a combination of GNSS hardware and algorithmic analysis, checking, quote, three times the current GPS navigation satellites, end quote, to detect a spoofed signal before it is accepted into the data stream as fact. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. 